Namespaces are here to help prevent conflicts. For example, I have namespace.php, and I've declared a namespace, which is avalex slash complicated. Now to access, let's say, a class, you would have to type in the namespace, and then you would have to type another slash, and then the name of the class, or the name of the function, for example, and also the name of a constant. So, in lieu of that fact, what we're doing here is we're ensuring that there is less opportunity for a conflict to happen. Because if I was to copy this out and have another script, and what this script had was the exact same class names and function names, and also constant names, and we didn't want it to conflict with this file. Well, how would you do that? Well, you change the namespace. So now avalex2 slash complicated. This now puts all of these names right here. Hello, another laws, all, all to, hello, goodbye, into a different section. So now this namespace and all these classes, functions, and constants will not clash with avalex complicated and all these functions, classes, and constants. So that's why we use namespaces. And what I'm doing here is I'm including the namespace.php file. So it's located in the same directory as index.php. And what I'm doing now is I'm creating a new object that is within the namespace. Likewise, we have another loss. Now, when we instantiate these classes, we are simply running the construct function and we're just echoing out some strings. Likewise, when we invoke the functions, we're just echoing out some strings and the same with the constants right here, they just contain strings. So it's very basic, but you'll notice that what we're having to do is constantly type in the namespace and then type in the class name or type in the namespace and then the function name or type in the namespace and then type in the constant name. So I can save that and hit refresh, and in my browser, it will present the following data. So it worked perfectly, and all of our classes, functions, and constants are in that namespace. But it's a little bit daunting, so we can use the use declaration in order to create an alias for the namespace. So I'm going to go ahead and type in use, and then I need to type in the namespace. So I'm going to say avalex slash complicated. And now I need to define the alias after the as keyword. And I'm going to say avalex. So think of this like this is a person's full name and this is a person's nickname. It's the same person. You're just going by a different name. So in lieu of that fact, what I can do now is instead of typing out avalex slash complicated all the time, I could just say avalex slash. So I've shortened this significantly. Save it, hit refresh, and there we go. And when you consider that you can make aliases for very, very complex namespaces, it will really save you a lot of time. But again, this is nothing new. You can do this in the old version of PHP. And you can take it even a step further. So let's take this case an example. Now we're going a step further. I'm still including the namespace PHP file, and we're still invoking the same classes, functions, and we're also pulling out the same values of the constants as well. But the difference this time is the fact that we are targeting a specific class, function, or constant within the namespace. Now you'll notice here that on the first line, let's start with the hello class. Well, what I'm doing here is I'm targeting the namespace and then I'm targeting the class that resides in the namespace. Now you'll notice here that with object, I can just say create a new instance of hello. So I didn't need to put the as in here. So if you don't put the as in here and provide an alias that way, it will simply use the class name as the alias. So instead of writing all of this out, like so, I just have to write out the alias hello. However, you can provide your own custom alias for a specific class. So I can target that class within a specific namespace, use the as keyword, 
and then I can provide an alias. So instead of writing all of that, I can now just write AL. So in object two, I'm creating a new instance of AL, which is the another loz instance that is within that namespace. It just makes things so much quicker. And you can do exactly the same thing with functions. Again, you can target the function. If you don't provide an alternate alias, it will use the function name as the alias. So I can just invoke that function. And you can also give it a custom alias by using the as keyword and then providing an alternative alias. So the all to function is now a2. So I can just say a2 open and close parentheses brackets. And finally, we have the constants. Again, it's exactly the same thing. You can have the constant name or you could provide an alternative. So we have hello or you have GB, which is that alternative alias. Save it, hit refresh, and there you go. All the values in there. Now you may be going to me, well, Lawrence, you're not actually showing us anything new. All of this is available in PHP 5. But now it's time to learn what's new in PHP 7. And that is the ability to group these use statements together. So the new bit in PHP 7 is the ability to group these use statements together. So instead of writing this out line by line, let's go ahead and put in the parentheses after the namespace and you put in the backslash and then within the parentheses, we want to type in the class names that we want to define an alias for. Well, the first one was hello. And again, if I don't use the as keyword, it will use the class name as the alias name. Then I can put in a comma and I can provide another class that I would like to provide an alias for. So I can say another laws and then I can say with the as keyword and provide an alternative alias of AL. And you can keep going and going and going in this fashion, providing aliases for classes within this namespace. So now I can write this out simply, whereas before I had to write it out line by line. Now let's do the same thing for the function aliases. It's exactly the same thing where you declare, first of all, the use statement, then you say you want to create an alias, or in our case, aliases for functions within this namespace. And then within the parentheses, you want to provide all of the aliases that you'd like to provide. So for example, all, well then you can just use that name all. All two can have the alias of A2, like so. And then we can also provide some aliases for constants. So you say use const, and then you provide the namespace that contains your constants. And then what you've got to do is go ahead and say hello. I didn't provide any as keyword, so we can just use that as the alias name. Goodbye uses the add as keyword, and we can say GB, so we can use GB to call back that constant. So I can go ahead and save this now, and then I can hit refresh in the browser, and you'll notice we get the results exactly as expected with no errors. So this makes a nice change in PHP. It makes things more efficient and more in line.